This tutorial is designed to teach you how to draw on a slide in a Google presentation. The first thing you need to know is how to find the drawing tools. They're located underneath the menu bar down here in this row of icons. You'll see a line tool, and when I scroll over it, it tells me what it does, and you'll also see a shapes tool. Let's start by looking at the options available in the line tool. You can see there are several choices here. I'm going to demonstrate how to draw an arrow. When you click on arrow, you'll see the crosshair tool. That means you're ready to draw. Just drag it across the page to make an arrow. But that arrow is really pretty small, so if I select it, you'll notice that more tools appear on the side. I can change the line weight so it's more noticeable. I can also change the line color. One more thing I can do is I can change how the line appears, make it a dotted line. So those are some nice options available. I'd like to also show you what you can do with the scribble tool. The scribble tool is a tool that allows you to draw freehand, but it also corrects itself. Let me demonstrate what I mean. I'm going to draw the letter S here. And you can see my S is pretty shaky, but when I let go, it will correct itself. And there it looks like a better S. Again, if I click on it, more tools appear. I can change the color. I can change the weight. And I can make it a dashed line if I want. So that's how you use some of the features under line. Now let's take a look at the shapes. Here you have four main categories of shapes, but within those are many, many more options. The first option has your standard shapes and more. Here I can draw a cube. Pretty nice. Now, since it's selected, I can use the paint tool to fill the color and I can use the line tool to change the color of the line surrounding it. So that's how you use the shape tool. I also want to show you how to use some of the things under callouts. You'll see you have thought bubbles. It's a nice thing to see. Now if I wanted to, I could put text in this thought bubble by clicking on the text tool and dragging over it and typing something in. If I want to move it though, I have to select both things to keep it together. And finally, let me show you what you'll find under equations. You can see some math symbols. So, that's how you draw in a Google presentation.